art friends, today we are going to draw a spider. Yeah, a Halloween spider, a spooky one. Well, kind of a cute spooky one. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. Let's first start by drawing our spider's mouth. We're going to draw open because we're coloring the spider black, so we got to make sure that we don't color in the mouth black too. Let's draw it big. We're going to draw first a straight line. I'm going to draw my spider really happy. And then we're going to draw a big mouth that comes down like this and up. And then let's draw the eyes next. I'm going to draw a circle about this size and well, our spider is going to be massive. <laughs> and then let's draw another circle, a smaller circle inside in the top left to make the eyes look shiny. And we can leave that little circle white, but color in the big circle. Because we're coloring in our spider black, we need to add another circle around so that this will keep the eyes from disappearing. Okay, now let's draw the circle for our spider's body. I'm gonna draw it really big. We're gonna draw it coming around like this, down here, and curve around, and then connect at the top. <laughs> nice. Now what's our spider missing? The legs. Yeah, let's draw how many legs? Eight. Yeah, four on each side. We're going to start by drawing, let's draw one leg right here. I'm going to draw it curving around. And we want to draw these legs a bit, a little bit thicker. So I'm going to draw another line next to it that matches. And then right here, we're going to connect them together. And I might even make that a little thicker too. But let's do the same thing on this side. I'm going to draw the same curve, but going the other way, and then we'll connect them together. This part, we're repeating a lot of the same steps, so we'll go a lot faster, and if you need extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah. I'm gonna draw the leg going this way, and you could also change your legs going different directions. So I'm gonna draw this one at the same time, or hop over here and draw the same leg going the other direction. So we got two on each side. We need two more. Maybe I'll draw one leg coming up like this. And we'll draw the leg coming up over here too. <laughs> it's not really a scary spider at all or a spooky spider. It's just a happy, friendly spider. And then maybe one more leg. I'm going to draw it coming up even further like this. We'll draw another one right next to it. And we'll connect those lines together also. Yeah. Okay, now what is our spider missing? A web. Yeah, it's house. Let's draw a line that comes down like this and connects to our spider. Ooh, we could draw, let's draw a couple more on top. I'm gonna draw them going this way. And, oh, we can draw these also. Let's just draw them right through the legs. We don't have to um, worry about the legs drawing through them because we're going to color the legs black, right? Oh yeah. So I'm going to draw lines going all the way through, like a, I'll just do a bunch. And you don't have to draw them in the same place. You can change where you draw them too. Yeah, that looks awesome. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to draw the web going in between these webs and we're going to draw them like this. So we'll connect two of the lines together and then we'll do the same. We'll come over here and connect. And we'll keep going until we go all the way around. I'm gonna keep going all the way over here. Oh, and I didn't connect, that's okay. We're just gonna keep going. Let's add another layer of webs all the way around our spider. Taryn, you did a great job on your spider web. It looks really cool. 
Thank you. Okay, now we can even add more spider webs too. Now, the first time we went around, we kept them continuous or connected all the way around, but you could also add like two right here if you want. So just two layers just in between, and it will add just like right here. And then you could add maybe another one right there. Yeah, and you could also even come up here, you could add another one right there if you want. You don't have to go all the way around. Yeah, that just fills in the spider web a little bit more. Okay, now this next part, we're going to fast forward again. So remember to pause the video. We're gonna use our black marker, except we're switching to the chiseled size or the thicker side, and we're gonna fill in or color in our spider. We wanna make sure we don't color in the eyes, and we also wanna make sure that we color in the legs. All right, you ready to speed things up? Yes. Taryn, we did it, we finished coloring our spiders. They look a little spookier now that they have sharp teeth, except um, we're not completely done. Our spider needs to decorate for Halloween, his house. Uh, what should we add? Yeah, let's add pumpkins and candy. Okay, let's add candy corns. Those are my favorite in Halloween. We're gonna just draw, <laughs> we'll draw one that our spider is holding. Maybe yours is holding it right here. I'm gonna draw it right here. So we could just draw an upside down V shape. And we could also add more candy. Maybe it's stuck in the spider web. I'm gonna draw up here. Let's see. I'm gonna draw the upside down V shape like this, but I'm also gonna draw the bottom of the candy corn like that. And we could connect a couple to the spider web. I'm gonna draw another one over here. And maybe one, this one's gonna be upside down or turned this way. We could also draw some pumpkins. Let's draw one pumpkin right here. I'm just gonna draw a circle or an oval shape. And you can fit it in anywhere in, on your spider web. Then let's draw a little stem coming out. We could draw two lines coming out of the top and then connect them. Yeah, and then let's draw two triangles for the eyes and the mouth underneath. I'm gonna draw a little smile. And then we could draw the bottom of the smile too. Should we add one more pumpkin? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna draw it down here, stuck to the spider web. And then we could draw the stem coming out and the triangles for the eyes and the mouth. That went really fast just because we're repeating the same steps. Let's speed things up again and finish coloring. We gotta color in our candy corns and also the pumpkin. And when you're doing the candy corn, you wanna make sure that you color orange stripe in the middle, the top is white, and then the bottom is what color? Yellow. Yes, yellow. All right, you ready to speed things up again? Yes. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our spooky Halloween spider. Well, cute Halloween spider. And I love how yours turned out. Thanks, I love yours too. Thank you. And you guys can pause the video right now to take extra time to color and also decorate your spider houses. Uh, what else could they add? More spiders. Oh yeah, you could add little baby spiders. That would be really cute. We hope you had fun drawing your Halloween spider. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.